Hi everyone, it's Randy. I want to thank everyone for the warm welcome that I got um, from all the cross stitchers out there that are part of YouTube community. Uh, that whether you post videos or you don't, uh, everyone's been so friendly with their comments and their likes, and I couldn't believe um, the response that I got from my video. So I want to thank everybody. It was really uh, inspiring to inspiring to do another video. So here we go. This is going to be the cross stitched a wish list. I have four design four designs that I already own that I'd like to try to do within the next year plus one that I don't own yet which is a Mirabilia. I'm going to try my uh, first Mirabilia with the stitch along that starts in January that Mrs. Milky Bar uh, kid started. Uh, I'm asking everyone to take part of in January. Now I've never stitched a Mirabilia before and I've never stitched on linen and I've never stitched on anything higher than 18 so uh, 18 count so this is going to be an adventure for me um so what I did when I was picking my design I decided to pick um a Mirabilia that doesn't have a lot of embellishments uh so I could practice more get used to the stitching on the high count fabric than all of the embellishments so I picked a design that only uses DMC floss no special floss and only has uses two types of beading um so that's what I decided to do and who I the design that I chose was Elizabeth and I have a picture of her because I don't own her yet so let me show that to you right here on my iPad all right so you can see the two types of beading and you can see she's beautiful and so I'm excited about that all right. so that's going to be in January when that stitch along starts so anybody who's never done a Mirabilia or has done a Mirabilia before and would like to take part, you know, everyone's welcome. So I hope everyone will uh, will join that stitch along. And again, um, it was Mrs. Milky Bar Kid that started that. So um, hopefully you guys subscribe to her channel because she's got some really, really good videos. Really helpful too. Um, now the ones that I own that I would like to do uh, sometime this year, within the next year I should say. My first one that I'd like to do is um, I showed in my stash video, which is Ooh La La cute little black dress and little uh, hat or shoe boxes here and a little cute shelf and all the background stuff and all the wording around. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, this is supposed to be stitched on, um, it's one of those patterns where you can do 14 over 1 or 28 over 2. Um, I'm going to actually stitch it on 22 over 1, I think. I think it'll be okay if I do it over 1. I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll see how it looks. Maybe do over two. Uh, just to stitch on something higher than 18, I thought that this would be a nice one to to, uh, to do that with because it's not a huge huge uh, pattern and it's not really um, that difficult. It doesn't have a lot of colors and stuff. So I thought it would be good practice um, to do that. So I'm going to stitch this on 22 count, which I've never done before. Um, and it does have this cute little charm that it, that it came with. Let me see if I can... Let's bring that up a little bit. There we go. So it's a little purse. And what you do is after you finish, you stitch it right here. So I think this will be fun. So I'm excited about that. Uh, the next one is a it's a bigger one in compared compared to the other um patterns that I chose. And this is my ballerina, ballerinas, I should say. Uh ballerina dreams. I showed this in my stash video also. Um, this one I'm very excited. I waited a long time to get this. This is originally a $40 kit um, by Dimensions, and I don't pay full price for my cross-stitch stuff. I don't know about everybody else, but I always wait for it to be on sale, or I have a coupon, or I get it off eBay. Um, and this, they did have this at AC More for a really long time, full price at $40, and then they marked it down to $20, and I still was reluctant to buy it, and I waited and I waited. And they finally marked it down to 10, and then someone bought it at my local AC Moore. So I was very, very upset. Um, so I went to a different AC Moore that was not as local as um, the one that I usually go to. It was a little further away, but not ridiculously far away. And I walked in, and I went down to see what they had. Because every, you know, every AC Moore has a little bit different patterns and kits and stuff. And they had it for $10. So I got it for $10. I was very excited. And that was my phone that just went off, so I apologize for that. Um, the next one that I would like to do is a Disney Dream Collection one, uh, Thomas Kincaid. 
and it's a Fantasia vignette, which is when they take that the big, huge uh, Disney collection design and they narrow it down to the five by seven and focus on the character of the design. So like on this uh, Fantasia one, it um, focuses in on Mickey on the hill. I'm very excited to start this. Okay, I have the full um, Cinderella one. I have the full Beauty and the Beast one, and I have the full Sleep and Beauty one that I haven't started. Um, I really want the Little Mermaid one, but I am trying to uh, use my willpower to not buy it because it's going to take me forever to stitch the three that I have plus this one that I'm trying to hold out on the Little Mermaid one. Little Mermaid's my, one of my favorite movies, so I don't know how long I'm going to hold out, but I'm going to try and be strong. Unless I see it for a really good deal, um, I'm going to try to stay strong and uh, not get it until I at least finish one of the big ones, <laughs> so who knows when that will be. But I hope to get this one done within the next year, Little Mickey Mouse. Who doesn't love Mickey Mouse? All right, and the last one, which is the one I hope to start next after I finish my little boy in a corner, which I hope to finish within the next couple weeks, is a Halloween one. So you can see why I want to start this one next, because I'd like to try to have it done for Halloween. So, and I know I'm, the way I have my camera set up, the word's backwards. So it says, swooping bats, dancing rats, flowing pumpkins, and witches' hats, hazy moonlight, ghost and flight are all ready for Halloween night. I love Halloween. So. And there we go. So that's my wish list. We'll see. It's subject to change, as I said earlier. But that's what I would like to do um, within the next year. And maybe, you know, with this as a motivation, I'll finish them and be able to do something, to do something, add something to my wish list as I finish um, these smaller ones. Uh, so, yeah, so that's my wish list. I encourage everyone to do this uh, tag. It's fun to go through your stuff if you have a large stash. Even if you don't, go online, go Google ones that patterns that you want and take a picture of it and just show them that you'd like to stitch these. This be your wish list. I have ones that are... Um, that I could, I had two wish lists, wish list that of ones that I own that I want to do, and that I had a wish list of ones that I don't own that I would like to do someday. So maybe in another video I'll show you those ones. Um, so yeah, so that's my um, that's my wish list, uh, cross stitch wish list. And again, I tag anybody else who hasn't done this. I encourage you to do it, especially if your first video would be fun, easy, easy to talk about. So I encourage anyone uh, out there to do the tag if they have. And I'm not going to tag anybody specifically because a lot of you have already done that uh, wish list tag. So um, I don't want to tag somebody that's already done it. So I just tag anybody who hasn't done it already. Also, um, if you guys have any questions for me, um, you know, how, my st how I stitch my, you know, my stitching setup, what I use, uh, how I store my stuff. I don't want to bore you and make a video of something that nobody wants to watch. I like all those videos myself. Um, I like to see the different things, different ideas. I've gotten a lot of different ideas um, from watching your videos on how you store your stuff. So if anybody has any questions for me, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye.